Bill Nevin. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. I'm Phil Seidel, and this is... Hi, I'm Jaden Katie. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you as well, sir. So yeah, we just have some questions for you. Um, All county kicker. <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, first of all, uh, what has El Dorado meant for you and your journey to the bigs? Well, I mean, that's where I started. I had a lot of great people, a foundation. I played for two great coaches, Carl Sweet right here, uh, Steve Galati when I, for baseball. So uh, really great experiences there. That's awesome. And so you played at Eldo and then you went to Cal State Florida and now you're right back in Orange County with the Angels. How does it feel to be back in your hometown? Well, it's awesome. I mean, a lot of years getting to this point and uh, well worth it, you know, getting the opportunity to do this at home and with a group of guys that, you know, you normally take over a rebuilding team when you're first starting, but I'm getting a chance to take over a team that's got a chance to do, do very well next year. That's awesome. Speaking of which, how does it feel to be, uh, I've heard that you're the new manager of the Los Angeles Angels. How does it feel to be in that position? Well, you heard correctly. So, <laughs> uh, No, it's, it's good. It's, it's uh, something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And like I said, getting the opportunity here at home with a, with a group of guys, we got a chance to win. So that, that's, uh, you know, it's an exciting time for me, of course. But, you know, getting this opportunity that not many, not many people get a chance to do uh, is, is an honor to have. And then, of course, how does it feel to be working with two of the best players in baseball? Well, that's part of it, right? We got some, we got some really talented players on our team. You know, Shohei and Mike are two of the best players in the world, and but we got a good support group, group around them. We got to keep them healthy and on the field, and good things are going to happen. Going back to your high school days, um, as your friend here over said, uh, yeah, you're number one kicker, yeah. But uh, I, how does it feel? Do you keep in touch with your former teammates at all? Oh yeah, plenty of guys from my high school. You know, Tim Murray and Chris Sweet right here. He was my holder actually when we were here. But no, a lot of a lot of old friends, of course. You know, this is where we uh, you know we all grew up together. So special people in your life, and you know, you keep them in your life. And then, what was your favorite moment at El Dorado? Oh wow! Well, winning CIF for my, my senior year of baseball, but a uh, group of guys that we played together for four years and got a chance to win one at Dodger Stadium was was awesome. What was your expectation of well, one the football game here, but as well in the professional sense of the players that you're now managing and 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 being with as well? Well, I mean, all, it's about the relationships you make over time and experiences you have. And, you know, this is definitely a foundation that was, you know, where I grew up, right? And, uh, you know, so just going back to your roots, you never forget where you came from. And, you know, the stadium's a little different. We were on that side and it was grass. And But uh, really neat to be here, uh, seeing some old, old, old faces. And, you know, I'm having a great night. Um, and last question, um, going into next season, what is your game plan to get the Angels to have a successful season? <laughs> well, we got to stay healthy, right? We got to be on the field, but you know, just getting it, assembling a, a coaching staff right now that'll make us better and uh, you know keep that room solid. But uh, you know, like I said, just keeping the guys on the field. You know, Mike Trout, Anthony Rendon, if they're playing, we're going to be just fine. Thank you so much. Final send off from me. Sorry, Jaden. But um, what, uh, going back from the professional level just down to the high school level, uh, what is your message for both baseball players and football players for their journey to uh, their athletic journey to the collegiate level as well as possibly the professional level? Well, I mean, you got to keep everything fun in what you do. I mean, obviously, the work uh, that has to be put in, but you got to make you got to keep this game fun, you know, and you keep make your work fun. Make everything you do to prep, prepare for games fun uh, and have fun playing a game. Otherwise, you get down the road and it, it turns into more of a job situation. Uh, it gets different. But these are experiences you'll never be able to get back in life. And, you know, if you had one message for them, just keep this fun and enjoy your teammates and, and uh, enjoy your high school days. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Awesome meeting you too. Champagne party here. <laughs> yeah, it's the swagger, man. <laughs> For World Series, who do you got? I mean, I got a lot of friends involved right now. Uh, the Padres lost tonight. Uh, I played for Dusty Baker, so to see him get one would be uh, would be uh, would be uh, would be really awesome for him. He's a good man, and he deserves to have that trophy. So. 
Hey, in the end, it's all good. <laughs> That's Phil Nevin. I'm Phil Seidel. And I'm Jaden Katie. And this was Jock Talk. <laughs>